Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. I'm getting started on a couple smokers, a vertical and a uh, reverse flow. This right here is the firebox door. A lot of it's already done. Stuff's cut out. Uh, I think the chamber's already put together on the reverse flow. Just doing a bunch of straight edge work for the chambers and stuff. If you can straight edge it with that plasma, it's so much faster than drawing it out, cutting everything by hand. Just starting to put the firebox together. This one is built with the smoke collector as the exhaust and you can kind of see it right there in the corner sitting on the table. getting them all put together. This will be a good thing when I get the, finally get the shop done and get inside there. All this will be done under the lift then, so I won't have to go back and forth, back and forth. Save some time being right up under it. Getting the door put into the chamber. I straight edge those too. Went ahead and got it put on a stand. I don't have the expansion on the bottom yet because I hadn't went and bought any. I ran out of it. And then since that, that one's on the stand now, I'm gonna go ahead and start on this vertical. I had it cut out already. <clears throat> and just been waiting to start putting it together. It'll really help being under the stand with these because I have to stand these up and lay them back down. And I can stand it up, but it's very heavy. And it hurts my back to stand it up. But I know it does that and I still do it anyway, so <laughs> I really need to be under that lift. But it just takes a while to roll out there, stand it up, then roll back. And I mean, it's just a time killer when you're doing that two or three times on every chamber. But I'm getting this welded out. And then this is one of the doors, the firebox door for it.
getting it framed up, fixing to do the vent on it and everything. It's cutting the holes into it. This is the HTP micro cut. I have a new circuit burner, burner that's supposed to be coming. This is one, this one was made for a torch and I just made a different part for it to go on the front to hold that plasma. And it does good, but I've got another one coming that's made for it to see if it's any better. Hopefully it is, because the way I got this, it don't have the bearing in it right there at the, uh, at the cap. So you have to walk around it. You can't just spin the whole thing. Which sometimes gets in the way, it don't always. It's just getting the latch set up on it. See, I had the camera stand on the table. It keeps shaking everything. All right, back over here on the reverse flow. Getting the door put in. Sometimes I'm just doing two of them because I don't have everything for that one or I don't know, it could be any reason. Sometimes it's better to do two. Sometimes it seems to slow me down. I even have three or four of them going a lot of times. This is smoke collector. These with this type, they do good either way, but with this exhaust and if you add that second vent to the firebox, man, it pulls so hard. I mean, it does really well. getting the door mounted on. Think about getting some new clamps for this, the squeeze style instead of these screw down ones. Seems like it might be easier. This is the table frame. Again, it don't have the expanded metal on it already because I hadn't went and got any. All right, we got about got it wrapped up and getting it painted. Usually while after I get it painted, I'll start putting the racks and all that stuff together. Cause it's still a few hours work getting all that done and paint can be starting to dry while you're doing that. This is the vertical going on the stand.
You have to get all up under there to weld it. You could really tack it on right there and then lift it in the air and weld up under there. So you didn't have to lay down on the ground, but it's really just easier to lay down and get it. Getting the tables put on there. I have a new style, well, uh, yeah, I guess you could call it a new style of this vertical coming. It's changing the inside a little bit. I hadn't done it yet because I have so many on order and I don't know if people want that change, but it'll do away with the diverter plate that's inside there. And there'll, be a, there'll still be a diverter plate, but the water pan will sit in the middle of it. And that way it, it won't be removable anymore. Because really I don't, I use mine so much, I never use that diverter plate. I always pull it out and just use the water pan as the diverter. I think it'll be a better setup. <clears throat> or a more simplified setup at least. Is actually already done. I just hadn't showed it yet. You can see this big round propane tank in the corner over there. Still, I've had that thing for a couple years. I bought it from the scrapyard just because I didn't want one, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I've had some ideas, but it should be coming soon. But this is the reverse flow. It has the wrap table on it and a burner added to it. This is 40 by 20, a 20 by 20 firebox. Removable grill top. Removable plates inside there where you can grill on it if you wanted to. This is vertical, it has four racks for water pan. That right there is where I set up the water pan to use as my diverter in mine instead of using the plate. But a lot of people still want that plate though, so I'll see whenever I get to it about changing it. That's the plate. But if you're looking for a smoker, I'm gonna put my email in the uh, description box and just shoot me an email if you're looking for one. And uh, be on the lookout for more videos. I got some coming soon. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.